Hello, I've been making a voxel engine and I want to show you this. So if we uh, click run here on the voxels we can see there's a giant voxel cube being drawn in front of us and the frame rate seems pretty good. It's all uh, well and good. And This is a chunk I should specify. Um, for those who are not familiar with the inner workings of a voxel engine uh, as a developer you define each a little point and then uh, you run uh, some meshing algorithm to turn uh, your your geometry no your your 3d structure uh, your points uh, into geometry and this may be done in various ways and I've chosen to done it in the same way that Minecraft does it by creating a cube for each point but you could um, use a different meshing algorithm to create different geometry that would be more uh, realistic, maybe more curved. Uh, these things exist and I will put a link in the description so you can see what that may look like. And they, they can look very cool, but for now I've, I've just put down uh, these blocks here. Great, now this run runs very, very smoothly. Um, Another thing I should specify is that each of these pieces of geometry is called a chunk usually because generating um, the geometry for a big world can take a while and so you want to uh, spend as little time as you as you can doing it uh, and then piecing piecing the chunks to together uh, afterwards otherwise uh, every time you want to change something you have to change the the entire geometry of the entire world um, so it's faster to just update a few chunks. Uh, right, so here's my chunk size. So maybe if I want a, a little bit bigger world, I could go for something like 258. And that would... What am I doing? 256 is, is faster. Should be faster. Here we are. This is uh, rather tall now. And uh, I think this is... Uh, the current height in, in Minecraft. I I sure hope so. I'm not updated on the inner workings of Minecraft as of late. Um, but as you see, this this is totally viable as well, and this geometry renders uh, pretty quickly. You can notice some stats over here. That is the nanoseconds for construction of the mesh here from points, and then uh, how big the buffer is. That is the buffer size that uh, that means the the size of the geometry that I'm uploading to the uh, GPU and then the nanoseconds for actually uploading that buffer to the GPU. Um, great, so these are stats that I like to keep track of. But in this example you may notice that uh, we're not really changing any geometry and so uh, the mesh generation is only happening once and that's when we start the program for the very first time. And that that takes a while, but we don't really notice it. So let's try to uh, change geometry every frame and let's see what happens. So inside my game screen here I have this uh, remove block and it'll just take a random block and remove it and then we call chunk update which will go into the chunk and see if the if the mesh is sturdy that means the the current mesh is not reflecting of the underlying data, then we need to create a new mesh. And this generate mesh method is very uh, very huge because it will generate a cube for every uh, point and that cube will have six faces and that each face will have six vertices. Uh, so that's a lot of vertices and also UVs uh, for textures later on. So that's this uh, giant method, and uh, please notice the uh, the nested for loops here. Uh, the only optimization is that if there is not a block there, don't do it. But in my example, there are blocks on every uh, square to begin with, or on every uh, on every coordinate, um, and so this loop can be really slow if the chunks are too big. So that's one of the bottlenecks of the mesh generation. Uh, and that's about the general bottleneck of, of voxel engines. Uh, great, so now we are generating a new mesh every single frame and let's see what happens to the program when we do that. 
um, you can see that it's animated a lot slower. Our frame rate has dropped dramatically. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not keeping track of the frame rate right now, but you, I'm sure you can get an idea that the frame rate is not what it was before. And we, you can sort of start to see that some of the cubes are missing um, as the program progresses. There's one uh, missing right there. Maybe you can see it. Yeah, you can see it there. It's missing. Uh, great. Um, so from this, uh, we get that there are uh, at least one bottleneck here in the in the voxel engine, and that is the the generation of the mesh. Um, now I can tell you that the the second bottleneck. That's why I have these numbers out here. Is that it actually also takes time to upload the mesh to uh, the GPU. And so that also needs to to be taken into consideration. Um, the final bottleneck that uh, one can encounter in these uh, voxel engines is the rendering of the images. Uh, that's not really a problem for me, although oh, we ran out of memory, it seems. Interesting. Um, Anyway, I have not really encountered the mesh rendering um, bottlenecks just yet because I am using uh, BBOs. Uh, but using BBOs means that I have to upload the mesh in its entirety at once, and that takes time. Uh, so how do we overcome these uh, these limitations or these uh, bottlenecks? Um, first of all, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't uh, put so many faces and so many vertices in uh, in a chunk. So I can definitely uh, optimize this a little bit by checking neighbors and not uh, and actually only making a face if there is a neighbor that is empty, and that will uh, definitely make the uh, buffer sizes smaller, but it will also increase uh, time spent on generating the mesh. Um, to to fix that, uh, then I can generate the mesh on a different um, thread, and that would uh, solve it for uh, multi-core processors, and that would solve it for, I guess, m I think most modern machines. Um, but then we can't upload it to the GPU uh, on the other thread, so we still have to take some time to upload the mesh. And that's why it's really smart to do the uh, the optimization like this. So the buffers get smaller, um, because in this way we don't have to uh, generate the mesh on the on the same thread that is rendering the game, and then uh, the mesh uploading will take shorter. Uh, so the f the lag spike uh, for uploading would be uh, would have less impact. Um, that's what I'm gonna do in in the future. I think if I if I keep on working with this, another uh, thing you can you could tune are these uh, chunk sizes. So let's see what happens if I have a chunk size of 16 by 16. And our frame rate has improved dramatically uh, again until it hasn't anymore. I, what is happening? Uh, maybe the. Hmm, let's have a look at my. Ooh. interesting turn of events. That was the uh, Voxel Engine. Hopefully there will be a another video showcasing this very soon. Bye!